welcome back to another video welcome back to my channel i just got back from taking the kids out for a little walk now we're back at the house and i'm gonna just clean our room rearrange the bed sweep and dust and mop in here because my daughter's crib is going to be coming sometime today and we're going to start sleep training so i want to make sure that everything is good to go for that so you guys are just going to hang out with me get things ready for sleep training hopefully everything goes well i'm really nervous i'm really scared but I know that ultimately, hopefully, this will help her sleep through the night, help me and my husband sleep through the night. So this is what our room currently looks like. We just have the bed. There's like no decor, no paint, no anything. Um, it's very plain Jane. It's gonna stay very plain like this until we move because we're not gonna be in this house much longer. So anyways, I just kind of want to show you guys what my idea is. So I think I'm gonna push the bed um, towards the wall that way and then I'm gonna put my daughter's crib probably right here by the closet because I wanted to put her by the window but it's been very very cold recently in Arizona especially at night so I'm just gonna put me and my husband towards the window so that way we can be cold and then she'll be nice and warm like over here in this area then I'm gonna just go ahead and wash our sheets now I usually wash our sheets like on the weekend like every other week on the weekend I'll wash our sheets but I'm just gonna do it now because tomorrow's Friday anyway so I'm just gonna do it now because I'm already gonna clean our room anyway so that's what I'm going to do also if you're wondering like dang their room is small it's because this is originally our guest bedroom so we live in a house on base with three bedrooms and the back room over this way is our master bedroom but I don't know what it is ever since we like moved in. Um, like at first it was cool, you know, to have like a big master room. But I don't know what happened. Like after a few months of being in that master bedroom, something just fell off to me. I just, I couldn't sleep. I just, I don't know. It was like nothing scary was going on. Like there was no like paranormal activity or no, nothing scary. It was just something just, I just could not sleep in that room. I don't know if it's because the master is like in the back of the house, like towards the backyard. So I don't know if that was like weird to me, but yeah, I just, I told my husband, I was like, babe, can we please move our stuff to like the guest room? And he didn't care. He's like, babe, whatever you want to do, like move it. I'll help you move it, whatever. So that's why we have this front bedroom, which is technically our guest room and that master is empty. So I would put my daughter in that empty room, but it is so big and so empty and so bare and like not decorated at all because like I said, we are going to be leaving this house very, very soon. So I don't want to just throw her in that room and like her be in a new crib trying to wean her from breastfeeding and her freak out. So we're just gonna have her in here and we're just gonna try to figure it out. did not arrive so i don't know if it's gonna arrive tomorrow but we're gonna build the crib and just set up the crib and then hopefully tomorrow the mattress comes i'm gonna open this little night like i bought them from amazon it's like a little starry night yes baby i'm gonna turn this on for them so that way they can be distracted while we build the crib because you know they're not gonna let us they already have this night light but this one is like stars so it'll be like stars and stuff on the ceiling babe do we have batteries since the last clip that you saw it's been about almost two weeks now so the last clip i think my husband was putting the crib together and 
it was super late at night and so i went out from putting the kids to sleep and i noticed that like the crib was like not put together so i was like oh like what's going on and he was like oh like the crib is missing like holes on one of the rails to put it together at first i thought like oh maybe like he missed something so i was like okay like let's put it let's take it apart and then like let's look at the directions again and try to put it together and no you guys like that amazon crib that i had ordered now i know why it was so cheap because like for one it was really like not that sturdy like the material when we got it but i was like okay you know what it's okay like it'll work but then we realized when we were putting it together that one of the rails <laughs> didn't have any holes like the correct holes to put everything together so i ended up like contacting amazon they picked it up through ups and we got our refund and then i had ordered another crib and i really didn't like that crib i was just kind of like over it and i was like you know what we just need a crib to get sleep training going like i don't even care at this point so i just kind of got whatever but a little bit more pricier than what i had originally purchased and it's been taking forever it's still not even here like it's been over a week since i ordered it and it's still not here and then two days ago um, i was on marketplace and i saw that a girl here on the base was selling a crib a really nice one um way nicer than the one that i had bought uh, on amazon and i messaged her and yeah she sold it to me so we're gonna go right now to go pick that up and so the only thing is that it's gray and i'm not too like fond of the color gray i really want like a neutral color crib but a lot of the brown and wood tone cribs are like really expensive so yeah it is gray but the good thing about it is that it kind of matches the same gray tones as santi's crib so when we move if the kids do end up sharing a room i feel like it'll go together and then it'll be easier for me to like decorate and put wallpaper in their room because with the other crib that i had originally bought it was a different like a good completely different color so if they were to share a room like i feel like their beds would clash because it wasn't like the same tone like i was saying um it just it's gonna look better in their room if they do share a room because it's like the same tone gray of santi's bed so yeah, it's a really nice crib. Um, it's actually from Target, and I think originally online it's like 200 and something from Target, but she's selling it to me like way cheaper than what she got. And she's only had it for four months, and it's way better than the one that I was gonna get from Amazon, like the second one that I had ordered, which is still not here. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna wait for it to get here sometime this week, and then once it's here, literally just return it back to Amazon and get our money back, because the one that I got from Amazon is way more expensive and a little bit uglier and this one originally is expensive but because it's used it's cheaper than the one i got from amazon so anyways i'm excited and i will show you guys once it's all set up and then we can finally start sleep training because i feel like i've been talking about sleep training for like two weeks now three weeks and it still hasn't happened so here is sophia's crib we put it all together we actually ended up moving it to our son's room because we do plan on them sharing a room eventually i also like the wood details on the bottom here um, I think it looks really pretty and then like I said before I wasn't too excited about the gray but then I thought about it and as you guys can see this is my son's bed and he has like gray accent on his bed as well and so it matches perfectly so when we move it'll just be a lot easier for me to decorate the room but here's her crib pray for us pray for sleep training we really need her to sleep in her crib by herself just so we can all sleep better so keep us in your prayers and thank you guys so much for watching I will see you guys in the next video